करण जी दी पार्टी इज इन हैबिट ऑफ स्पीकिंग वाइट लाइव विथ सच इंप्यूनिटी दैट इट पुट्स एस टू शेम नाउ शेयर इज द इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स विच इज डेटेड मे थर्टींथ वेर ही सेज मिस्टर अरविंद केजरीवाल सेज आई हैव सॉलिड एविडेंस टू प्रूव द द इनोसेंस ऑफ जितेंद्र कुमार एंड ही गोज ऑन टू से इट इज अ कॉन्स्पेरेसी नाउ जितेंद्र कुमार इज देन अरेस्टेड ऑन द on the 9th of june so as early as 13th may mr kejriwal had already declared him innocent on 13th june when he is arrested after he is arrest by the uh, court that uh, resignation is given now they want to make a virtue of that also okay. let's go next asim asim khan his cd comes out in market everybody hears that and then you have him sacked but mind you he is removed as minister but never suspended from the party so he continues to be a member of the party he continues to be uh, participating but no no it's not a problem okay. jitendra kumar is not a problem he is not a problem now sandeep no, no i don't think you have sandeep Mr. kumar being compared to a there's no need to go through every Nahi. single case i've got other guests Allah who want the chance finish. to speak i'll come back to you i'll come back to you You can no, say other. Okay, I am making a point. Can I make a point? Go ahead quickly. I just need. This is unfair. This go is unfair. Go ahead. I'm saying. You, go you ahead. You let everybody talk. I'm but saying. I'm go ahead. But when I'm coming to my substantive point, you don't let me go. Mr. Mittal, okay. if you heard Kriminal, me, I see, said go the ahead. The problem is that the problem is that Aam Aadmi Party has a criminal. I'm speaking, sir. The Aam Aadmi Party has a criminal mindset. It has depraved a value system. It has got questionable morality. Okay. and to top it all it can lie with impunity well, and then we are eulogizing the politicians have it's not unique or exceptional in the case so of aam aadmi all good politicians lie with immunity and sadly impunity so thought, as well so but let me bring in someone else now mr mittal mr mittal i want to bring in someone else it's only fair others have a chance you get the other people sir they have not expelled even a single person so again he is lying as i said here is a party which says a jitender kumar a naresh kumar they are all freedom fighters you have sandeep kumar as a gandhi these are the values which aam aadmi party will like us to believe and look at this summoning i think depraved minds can only talk this nonsense as far as the records are concerned let's be straight yaddu rappa ji when charge was removed and after he was exonerated he was brought back secondly as far as uh, mr uh, bangaru lakshman was concerned immediately he was removed now you you but you see you have to understand ashish ji when you say this you are the new politics you say we were the rotten lo uh, lot you were the new people who would be, do, uh, bring in a new culture and what is your culture to make them freedom fighters to uh, to compare okay. a sandeep to a gandhi ji if that's the new culture i have nothing to say about this and lastly asim khan why the uh, 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 why why uh, imran hussain imran hussain cd was played where uh, his protege was asking for money from the builder you never took action against him okay. so don't at least on camera has some uh, hesitation on speaking plain lies or uh, saban akvi the critical issue here is does the aam aadmi party in its actions live up to its high blown rhetoric and claims i'm going to remind you what arvind kejriwal said at a press conference in october last year at the time he sacked asim ahmed khan these were his words right i will not even spare my son hmm. manish sisodia or anyone else if he is corrupt now take the example of somnath bharti you heard me reiterate hmm. all the different allegations and charges against him from racism right i did from molesting and beating and mistreating his wife and now to inciting mobs by the way there's another charge as well which was in the yeah. papers in july i'm not even mentioning that Absolutely. four charges but he not only is not expelled he's okay. now treated as a party spokesperson you see mr kejriwal wants all authority no responsibility no accountability and rightly he has not taken any 
portfolio for himself. So he can always blame somebody and say, no, no, he's, he faltered, he faltered. In fact, he can blame the Prime Minister and say, uh, you know, there is a conspiracy. 117 allegations he's already made. So, you know, the next would be he will blame his party. But that's not important. What is important is, there's a strange kind of sexual perversion in this party. You, you just talked about uh, Mr. Somnath Bharti. You forgot that he was running the biggest pawn site. Somnath Bharti, the, you have uh, women getting raped for Russian card. You have women who are exploited for tickets. Can we I'm come back to that. Arvind Kejriwal? It's his own MLS who are saying that. They're exposing them. He talks about the conspiracy of... Yeah, Arvind, he talks about 63 uh, CDs being made. You know, my, a man who can talk any nonsense at the drop of his head is only escaping the reality. The reality is that Delhi is not only misgoverned, you have the worst kind of activities by his party okay. going on every day, day in and day out. All right. And to deflect his attention, he says, Mane khuta gaada hai. Khuta kis cheez ka gaada hai? Okay. Corruption ka gaada hai, rape ka gaada hai, bhrashtach, right, uh, baimani ka gaada hai, right, mahilao ki utpa, utpeelan ka gaada hai. You've given me a port manto answer that answers not just the question I've asked, but several others that I might have had in mind. Let me, however, come back, Yogendra Yadav, and focus more sharply on this issue of whether Arvind Kejriwal is right and wrong to now ha devote his time to Punjab when his party in Delhi seems to be falling apart. I want to quote his precise words on Thursday. Here it is. Till the time we don't make them bite the dust and send the Badals to jail, I will camp in Punjab and I am not going to leave this place. In between, however, he adds, I will go to Delhi for two, three days. But I will not leave from here till we send the Badals to jail. From the mouth of the Chief Minister of Delhi, does that suggest that he's virtually abdicating the duties and responsibilities by only spending two, three days in Delhi and the majority of his time in Punjab? Ten seconds. Karan, the last word. Last, go ahead. Yeah, the two strange bedfellows have now exposed the real truth behind what, what is happening. All right. Both have shown that morality was a facade and not a reality. That's a very good point. And that is the truth which people have now Sabha, seen. Sabha, you wanted a you last word as well. Go ahead. All the people one Go ahead, Sabha. But not all the people all Go ahead, Sabha. Very know, quickly because we're out of time. Point, but very, uh, Karan, a very quick point to, you, you know, the, on the point of Arvind Kejriwal going off to Punjab and all, I want to say that the person who he's attacked the most, Narendra Modi, that is the model. Narendra Modi, when he won in 2012 Gujarat, uh, no, he was I supposed think, to be there for five me. years. He left, he moved on. I think we, that's how I would see him. Well, I think that's a slightly exaggerated point. I don't think, I don't think Narendra Modi ever said that he, that he would only be spending two, three days in Gujarat and that he would be camping in Delhi to win the, the governmentship of Delhi. So I think that's a slightly exaggerated comparison. But let's say that you were doing it because you want to be balanced. I'm going to end this particular discussion there. Clearly, Arvind Kejriwal has raised many questions to which the Ahmadmi Party has a tough time providing answers. And clearly, we'll be keeping a close eye on the way the crisis in that party develops. But for tonight, goodbye, good night.